Hello everyone and welcome to yet another pick a card reading. Today we are going to ask cards should I stay or should I go? If you are in a point of relationship where you don't know anymore whether it's working out, whether it's possible to fix it, what should you do to leave it, go away, try again or maybe it's the good relationship, this reading is for you. So we have four different sets of cards in front of you. The first one is the white flower, second one is black and red flower, the third one is the blue flower and the fourth one is the yellow and brown flower. Those were crotched by a very beautiful old lady of my town and I really appreciate them. I thought maybe it's going to be fun to mix up a little bit with the usual stones. As usual what I want you to do is to look at each of the four sets and try to feel which one calls you the most which flower, which set calls you the most. Please take a minute now. You can pause this video. And now let's start. So let's see the answer for the ones that have chosen the, the white flower. Should I stay or should I go? Let's see. I'm very curious also to see what's in here. Um, okay, so as for tarot cards we have Okay, Ace of Swords, this star, the Empress, I will leave them here so you can see better. And for Oracle cards, we've got Focus and Moon. Okay, very interested spread. First of all, what I must say here, I see someone very gifted here, um, like a strong inner power natural leader and someone born with luck uh, and charm in general. So I see that you are a natural beauty and very attractive person. So it's very likely that uh, other people are watching you and um, trying to connect with you, maybe asking you out for dates and so on. I see someone kind of born under the lucky star, but also someone very powerful and very balanced out inside and outside. Someone with very strong intuitive powers, because we've got the moon card here. Um, probably you're having like um, important vivid dreams where uh, you kind of get messages from the universe through the, your dreams um, or just in general life events kind of happen in a way where you always feel like you know I am in the right moment in the right place. So with this relationship it's quite interesting what I see here that um, because you do have or your partner also could be has kind of that focus on to other different things so uh, maybe you are juggling between different um, let's say priorities because of course the ace of swords is here so could be we're talking about someone who is a very good student or a very good worker or someone being in a high position or in general someone having his or her own business and kind of really um, a lot of profit also in in this life and kind of prosperity so it could be that either you or your partner are juggling between different kind of things and the responsibilities so maybe the relationship at this point of life is not the main focus uh, for you at the moment or could be uh, that as you receive so much of attention from other people so that you are wondering whether this person is for me um, because maybe I can find someone else somewhere else as well because you know people seem so nice around me and they truly are interested in me uh, could be the same position to your partner and what I'm seeing here is that it's still not lost uh, the very important message here is don't lose your track for something or someone unknown this relationship has still many paths to take together uh, you are not done yet you need just to refocus on this relationship maybe try to prioritize it better maybe find new corners aspects of your partner maybe you know you just feel that this relationship has gone too much into routine um, and some things need to be spiced up in order to uh, see the new spark in it because definitely 
definitely I see a lot of strong connection here. I see a lot of light here. I see a very strong also feminine power here because, you know, we've got the moon card here in the Empress, but also there is Ace of Swords. And Ace of Swords is kind of a very beautiful, balanced out masculine energy here as well. So I see overall a very nice balance here between two different energies and it doesn't matter whether you know you're male female or reverse or both same sexes but i see a lot of kind of balanced out energies in here which work very nicely together on very deep deep levels what i see here that you both have kind of naive approach to life and you see kind of seek for adventures and see new corners and new beautiful things in life you all both of you you truly like to discover uh, this world and and see the different parts and feelings of this life and you are both people who like to feel, you like to be in relationship and you truly both uh, enjoy being in this relationship. So I don't see a point um, exchanging it for something else, exchanging it for something unknown or just, you know, for a short term pleasure or spark. The spark is within you two, actually. And I see this road still continuing between you two. You are meant to share this this path at least for a while still because you've got very very powerful cards and I see that you can reach a lot of things together uh, you have same goals you have same dreams and actually you have the same power to achieve them you're looking towards the same direction that's the thing even though you might be feeling that I don't know it feels like we do have different priorities in this life at the moment but you know what deep deep inside you both have the same goals and same priorities so whether it's family focused so whether it's business or career focused or towards self-development focused might seem that you are both very individual people who are very again balanced out in many different areas so the natural question is so do we need each other if we are doing so well by our own but the thing is that that you truly do need each other because you are like that kind of dark side of the moon that you cannot see you complement each other in a way which is not so visible which is not so much spoken about which is not so much felt about like you do have so many inner feelings you are kind of having those inner bone boundaries that are kind of making you go and stay together and it's not over yet even though you do not feel now that this is the best moment of your life you have to still be together and continue this path together because you truly complement each other in the most mysterious unknown ways and it's sometimes hard to understand people might question it sounds like you are quite different but somehow you work marvelously together and and it's hard to understand why exactly but what i see here is that kind of inner light that you both have an inner strength that you both have basically your differences make you to grow a lot in this relationship and you should continue this way so don't ever doubt this um this relationship because i see that you do have the same value the same inner spirit actually which is leading you um towards the same path so just try to understand that and maybe value this relationship more instead of focusing on negative sides of it try to focus on what actually positive you get from this relationship or what you have done in this relationship probably thanks to this person because if not him or her you won't be so successful so don't forget the past as well the past good memories together because you are in a place of life right now because of this person as well so this is a very beautiful very powerful union and it still has to continue for a time being so if you ever doubt it stop doubting and focus again on this relationship again to discover those corners because there are still many things you can discover in this relationship and you can grow grow big together so definitely yes you should stay in this relationship so that was the answer for the ones that have chosen the white flower okay so here is the second option for the ones that have chosen this beautiful red and black flower let's see what cards have to tell you should i stay or should i go let's see first the tarot cards what do we have here 
Okay, nine of wands, um, eight of swords, and the moon. Okay, quite strong. We're starting strong here. Let's see what are the rest of the cards. As for Oracle, we've got trust and autumn, release the old and rest. Okay, um, so with this relationship, first of all, the first feeling that I got when I opened the tarot cards are blockages. And I see someone suffering deep inside, someone who is in the corner, someone who does not recognize the other person anymore and someone who truly suffers and doesn't know what shall I do here because I feel absolutely lost, devastated and I don't know whether it was a good idea in the beginning to start with this person. And you know what? Your feelings are true. You should trust them. Again, the Oracle card. Trust the darkest feelings, the darkest ideas that you have. Darkest ideas, I mean, I kind of sense that you are trying to prove yourself that this relationship still can work and still be good. And the problems that you are seeing, seeing at the moment are not a big deal. Okay, so you're trying to kind of sugarcoat this relationship somehow because I see the lack of self-confidence here and I see that you kind of got used to being treated bad and being treated this way that you are at this point watching this video and questioning yourself should I go or should I stay again this is kind of a deep feeling I'm getting inside that you are not capable of deciding yourself even though the feeling you already have deep inside yourself you already know and you already knew from the beginning through from many many years ago that this is a no this is not a good example this is not a good person this is not a good relationship this relationship is a little bit like energetic vampires type of relationship i kind of sense that someone is using you that other person is using you your kind of deep emotions for for their own good and kind of leaving you empty and feeling lost and feeling trapped and feeling that you are not worth of something better and that's the thing, I kind of sense that you are afraid to leave this relationship because you are afraid that you won't be able to make it on your own and maybe to find another person. Maybe you feel that this is the only relationship that you are worth of. Stop yourself here. Don't be such a victim. I kind of see self-sabotage here, like this codependent relationship that just brings you to the darker and darker corners of life and not really showing too much light. Um, might be even some kind of physical or mental abuse going on here. If it's the case, that's a huge red flag, which you should not even discuss further. Um, you know, the path is over here. Sooner or later, I kind of sense sooner because again, this is the autumn card and this is a very speedy card. You know, it says release the old and rest. And it's so direct message. It's just so direct. It complements so well the rest of the cards. I'm quite shocked that, you know, cards fell this way for this for the spread. I, I did not expect that, but it just ties up everything so well together. Just, you know, trust that kind of inner thought that you always had, that inner feeling that you always had and let it go. Um, stop self-sabotaging yourself. You are worth way more. This is where the trust comes in. You know, you are strong enough. This card tells you that you are strong enough. This is the time where you have to turn this old page off and start something else. By starting something else, the card of the Oracle basically tells you to rest and to re get back your own persona and your own time and trust in other people as well. You need kind of some serious meditation time and self-healing here. The process needs to be turned on for you. Uh, you have to work for yourself now, not for this relationship and dedicate yourself fully into this relationship where the other person just does not give a single piece of what you give into this relationship. 
Um, I see that you have very diff different goals uh, in this relationship in, in general. So it feels like from the beginning you two were not compatible at all, but you kind of sensed that, you know what, I have to try. And you kind of got into the circle of never-ending story and it's, it's hard to get out. Um, but open your eyes. The reality is not what you believed in. The reality is different and it's time to see it now. Um, and it's time to not be a victim anymore of other person. You are strong enough to do so. You are strong enough to leave and go and be by your own. And this is the path that I'm seeing that you're going to take in the very near future. So again, your intuition was right. Trust yourself, trust your intuition and let it go. Let it go because you can do better by your own. So that was the answer for the ones that have chosen the red and black flower. Okay, and let's see the answer for the ones that have chosen this beautiful blue flower. Should I stay or should I go? Let's see. First of all, let's open the tarot cards. Okay, so we've got Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles and Father of Wands. Quite interesting cards as well. Let's see what are the rest of them and then we can start analyzing the situation. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance and the Goblin, the wounded hum human ego. Okay, that's a pretty, hum, how to say? 50-50, maybe spread. First of all, first of all, the very strong inner feeling that I get here is that some secrets need to be revealed. Maybe you or your partner are keeping too many things for yourself. Um, something maybe not being truly honest here or not maybe telling all the emotions and feelings that you have, maybe trying to... Um, to keep some secrets in order not to reveal your full personality or um, maybe the bad sides that you have. Maybe you're trying just too hard to prove in this relationship that you are one way and not another while trying to hide, you know, the maybe the darker sides of yours because you're afraid that, you know, this could impact the relationship. Could be vice versa as well. Uh, could be that this is coming from another another person, so your partner. I see a lot of strong energy here um, and I see a lot of kind of masculine energy here. Doesn't matter whether you are a female or male, I see a lot of masculine power here. Um, someone being very strong, someone being very attractive and someone very abundant here as well. Someone here is liking the attention uh, from other people. I see a lot of kind of fire, uh, fire energy here. A lot of active fire energy. Quite a lot of mo money focus here as well, I see. So it could be that, um, you know, you're dealing with a person or you are yourself a person who truly tries to um, make a living and focus a lot on career, profession or whatever thing it is, like other side of life, not only relationships, you know, just other things in life. And uh, that's why the relationship suffers. It feels like one of you need more attention that he or she gets. Um, like the romantic feeling is missing here. Maybe it's just a routine already. Maybe you have spent too many uh, years together, a lot of time together, and it feels like that the spark is not missing here and you are just used to each other's company and um, the abundance that you have created and the base that you have created. Maybe you are just dating and you kind of sense that the person you are dating or you yourself, um, you're too much focused on career, job, money maybe, maybe materialistic life in general and maybe not showing off true feelings and maybe not revealing or not telling, uh, let's say, about the feelings that you have every single moment. It feels like that, you know, some, some, someone here is not very good at communication, lacks communication skills and lacks kind of um, revealing exactly what's on his or her mind at that moment. Um, a little bit of transparency is missing here. It feels like one of you is very emotional, 
kind of really prone to feelings. That's why you get the illusion that maybe this relationship is not compatible. But the very interesting thing here is that this relationship has still a lot of potential um, for the future. Only if all the sides of this relationship are revealed, all the secrets are revealed, if there is an improved communication, then this relationship can really be better. So whether it's you or your partner, you should really sit down together and talk about your feelings and what you expect from each other. Maybe it's just something very simple, just few extra days per week, moments per month to spend together as a couple. Uh, to bring that romantic spark again into the relationship or just to kind of speak up, speak up about the feelings, about the sadness, about the joy that you're feeling at this moment. And if it's your partner who doesn't kind of reveal and does not talk that much about emotions or the feelings at that moment, try to push the person, your person, to reveal those things to you. Tell your partner that you want to listen about him or her, you want to understand what's going on in their life, you want to know what are his or her feelings and that you are open to listen. That's the thing, communication fails here, you know, from your side and from the side of your partner. Both of you, you're not doing well expressing yourself. You kind of get the feeling, expect a lot from other, uh, from each other, you know, but um, you do not really try hard to make sure that the other person understands exactly what you want. It's kind of you hope that the person will understand from signals that you send that what you want from this life and this relationship or could be vice versa as well. Um, you know, more clear communication is needed here. If you want something from this person, if you want some kind of change, tell that, say that directly. This is going to be accepted very well. A kind of sense that your partner is also lacking kind of clarity from you, but just because he or she doesn't really know how to communicate that, this kind of becomes a routine and this kind of becomes a problem at the moment, you know? That's why you have to be more open with each other and show more sensitive side of each other. This can be saved truly. I see that you are, this is not a deep problem that you're having at the moment, it's just a problem of communication and maybe short-term problems, okay? Maybe it's just the period that you are not doing well together and you just need more time and space for each other, but it's not over yet. Make that spark into a fire again, because there is a lot of fire here. It's not over yet. Um, it's not ashes, what I see here. I see flame, like this flame, you know? It just needs more air. It just needs more passion uh, back into this relationship, and then it will fire up again. So worth trying, don't let it go yet, okay? So that was the answer for the ones that have chosen the blue flower. Okay, and here is the last yellow and brown flower for the ones that have chosen the last set. Okay, first of all, let's see the tarot cards and then the oracle, the imperior, the lovers and the magician. Wow, all major arcana cards, so strong. Okay, and as for oracle, watch with God. Okay, uh, animal guardian, trust your instincts and movement. Amazing, amazing. Can I clap for you? You know what? I don't know why you're even watching this video, why you have doubts. You shouldn't have any. This relationship is meant to be. You are with the right person. First of all, I see that you are very karmically related. It's been Oof, it's been energetically related through the past lives even. I see that you both have a lot to do from the past, since the past lives and still now, I don't know, maybe you're just watching this video out of curiosity and um, maybe you just got a fight today or yesterday and maybe you're not talking, you know, for a few days. Um, but this is nothing to worry about. I see that you are a family 
kind of uh, or you will form a family you're meant to be together you are like two sides that found each other um also i see a lot of kind of um speedy improvements going on in this relationship so let's say if you are having some kind of issues or problems at the moment and you're wondering about the worst case scenario don't worry about that anymore because I see that you will be moving even into a new steps and new stages of this relationship. So maybe moving in together, maybe um, starting a family, maybe getting married because I see that you are meant to be with this um, person. And you know, I really like this Oracle card that you've got. Uh, it says, trust your instincts. So it kind of feels that you already have feeling that, you know, but this everything is fine with this partner, but it feels like that you are just really passionate. And just because of some issues that you might have faced now, today, this week, this month, you're starting to think about, oh, maybe this, this person is not for me. And you know what? Trust your inner gut because it tells you that everything is fine and don't let the small details to stop you from uh, growing with each other because this is definitely a wonderful, wonderful relationship. I see that you are kind of um, making each other balanced out a lot so that even in silent moments you truly understand each other's deepest, deepest inner feelings and it doesn't matter whether you are just starting out with this relationship or you have been years in it, uh, it's still that, you know, since the first moment you understood that this person I can trust, uh, I can tell my deepest secrets to this person. I can truly make plans and, and be accountable with this person because I know that he or she will never let me down. And that's the thing. I mean, look at this card. You've got the lover's card. This is a sacred love card. Um, and I'm very surprised that you got those oracle cards and the other tarot cards next to it because it just really makes a beautiful circle here. I see that this is a very strong base that you two have. And it, this is something very spiritually protected as well, um, that the universe has sent you two into this world to meet again and to be together and to make future plans together. Don't ever doubt this person. You know, problems or arguments, they can happen. This is normal for every relationship to experience, but don't ever doubt that this is something um, that might end or this is something that you know, you're not compatible and maybe, you know, try to make the problem grow bigger. Um, stop that, you know, just, just really apologize. Maybe go first and say, I'm sorry, I just don't want to be like this anymore. So that's why I'm saying that um, I don't see here any issues, to be honest. This is a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Could be quite an experience still, like you um, still are discovering each other. That's why you're having those doubts whether, you know, we should be together or not. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just that kind of beginning of the relationship where you still wonder um, whether this is the right person, but this is five times yes, five times. I mean, what else do you need <laughs> me to tell you? Uh, this is a perfect perfection, perfect perfection. You see how I'm talking? I'm losing my words because I feel ultimate love here. Um, I feel ultimate joy, happiness and compatibility. There is nothing that can separate you two you are going towards the same direction. Look at those two birds. They are in the light of the sun, beautiful, col colorful rays of the sun, and they're going to the same direction. Look again, card, the magician, full of rays, full of strength. Again, sun is in here as well, the imperial. Look at the beautiful imagery of this picture. A beautiful old tree with roots on the ground, strong grounded. This is about your relationship beautiful relationship never let it go because you are meant to be together two of you and this has been through ages and it will continue so so again be loved and love each other and never never let each other down because you are a true karmic soulmate definitely beautiful beautiful spread so that was the answer for the ones that have chosen the yellow and brown flower so I really hope this video was helpful to you and maybe helped you in a way to make your own mind and to see the situation clearer. If you are new to this video, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. 
uh, and see you next time. Wishing you the best. Bye-bye.